Hey guys, it's Tommy, and this is the last video in the trying to make a pro team vlog. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun doing this, and um, it's been about 36 hours since the last session ended uh, yesterday, and I didn't let any goals in in the last session. So for the entire weekend, I let in exactly one goal um, in any of the games, and in the practice, you know, I think I did reasonably well. Um, you know, I don't think there are any glaring holes. Um, I thought I could probably use a little improvement um, on the blocker side, but that was really about it. Um, otherwise, my penalty shots were fine, and uh, you know my regular play. It was just a lot of you know blocking shots and whatnot. It wasn't too difficult, but uh, you know one goal in the entire thing. Um, I'm extremely happy with that. You know, for being a, a 29 year old fat guy, you know I'm I'm perfectly fine with that, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, now the only kind of bad part about that is it kind of got my expectations up a little bit. Um, you know, going into it, you know, I've said all along, I'm just doing this for fun, and I didn't expect to make the cut to the uh, the actual training camp. But as I got into it, and as I started doing better, and I only let in one goal the entire time, you know, you still think there might be a chance. Um, but at the same time, you know, let's be honest here, I have a, a full-time job, I own my own business, and, uh, you know, I can't support four kiddos and a wife and a mortgage and trying to build a house and, and whatnot on a salary of in a CHL player. So, um, you know, even if the opportunity came to me, you know, even though I'd like to say, hey, I played pro hockey, um, you know, I don't think that it would be feasible financially, even if I was that good. Um, so let's go back to that. Um, was I that good? Um, yeah, it's a fair question. And to me, I would say no. Um, I do think that there was one goalie there who was clearly better than me. And, um, you know, I had a lot of fun talking with him. And funny enough, I never even learned his name while I was there. I saw the, his name on the back of the helmet. But he was an extremely nice kid. And it turns out that he actually played in the ECHL last year. So that's really cool to be able to play with an ECHL goalie and, uh, you know, hang in there right with him. And, uh, you know, he's just so nice. And he was extremely humble. He never even mentioned it even once. He just mentioned that he had played in Utah for a little while. So, um, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, there was also another goalie who was pretty good there. He ended up getting an invite, so that's pretty neat as well um, that one of us did end up making it. And then there were a couple other guys too who were pretty nice. So, um, you know, it was, it was a pretty good time overall. Um, and even though it got my hopes up a little bit, and, uh, you know, I would definitely be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that I didn't get an invite, um, especially since I, I did only let in one and the next goalie let in three and it goes all the way up till 10. There were five of us. Um, I think it was like one, three, three, seven, and 10, um, something like that, um, goals against for the weekend. So, you know, clearly statistically I did the best, but, uh, you know, at the same time, you know, 29, overweight, full-time job, family, kids, and whatnot, um, you know, it wasn't in the cards. Um, at the same time, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, had I stayed in juniors back when I was 17, how good would I be? You know, would I be able to, uh, to stay up there with the guys who, you know, just came out of college or played in the ECHL last season. So it, it'll always make me wonder, um, but still, it was a lot of fun. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do from now on. Well, obviously I'm gonna go back to my beer leagues and I'm already back to work. Um, so it's, it's just back to having a lot of fun. And then after that, you know, maybe next year I'll get another invite or something like that. And, you know, who knows, the possibility for this year is even still in the cards. Um, you know, I had a couple uh, invites out there still this year. Unfortunately, one of them had to cancel. And, uh, you know, I'll keep my eyes open and my ears open just in case something happens. And maybe I can get some more video and get another experience under my belt. So that'll be kind of neat. So anyway, you know, I had a lot of fun. And uh, maybe I'll follow up on our forums at goaliecrease.net and uh, tell you guys a little more about my experience. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment here on the video or come on our forums at goaliecrease.net again, and uh, hopefully we'll see you around. And again, thank you all for supporting me through the process, all of you members of the goaliecrease.net community, um, as well as my family and Brandon Alden, um, who I trained with for uh, a little over a month. Um, he was absolutely fantastic. You can find a link to his video. Um, down in the comments below. So thank you all for following along and good luck to you all who are going through uh, training camps or uh, tryouts or even if you're just a beer leaguer, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're starting to get ready for the season uh, ordering up those kegs. So I uh, hope you all have a great season and good luck.